Good morning guys, this is Jonathan of Bob CNC. Today I'm going to be showing how to set up a probe in Basic Sender. So we're going to open up our probe function and we need to set up the offsets for our probe. So this will be um, basically it's the thickness of your probe walls. So when you set it on your workpiece, then you're going to have a certain distance from where your actual workpiece is and the outside of the probe. So we want to set those offsets. So this is your X, Y, and Z. Now our probe that we're selling is a uh, has a half inch by half inch by quarter inch wall. So currently it's in millimeters, but I'm going to set that at 12.7, 12.7, and 6.35 for a quarter of an inch. So once we have all of those set, then we'll click Save. Now this right here will allow us to jog over to where our probe is at. You'll want to position your bit similar to what it is in the picture. Um, you know, cl somewhat close to the surface of your probe and then you'll want it centered over that hole. So I'm going to jog over, jog down a little bit. Make sure that's positioned over the hole. That has to be perfect, just roughly. Okay, and then I'm going to attach the clip for the probe onto my bit. Now, the next thing we want to do is set our end mill diameter. So I'm going to be using a quarter inch bit right now. So again, I have it set for 6.35. And you'll want to set that for whatever size bit you'll be using. And then I can go ahead and confirm probe position, and then I should be able to probe. Uh, from here. Now, what we have here, this is a um, it's an offset for your XYZ zero um, datum. So let's say you wanted to probe down here, but then you wanted your actual zero to be offset by um, this set of offsets here. So you want it to be actually on the center or over here, or over here. Then you could click that and change it, um, and you would be able to set it while probing from one position, set your zero for another position. But I prefer to home in my lower left-hand corner, so I'm just going to leave it at the home corner. So with all of that set, then I'll be able to probe, and it's going to go towards the middle of the probe and touch the surface. Once it confirms the surface, it'll go to the outside edge, and then it'll move to the next outside edge. And then it'll move back to position and set all your zeros and then you'll be able to remove the clip and you'll be ready to go. Good morning guys, this is Jonathan of Bob CNC. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a probe in UGS. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go up to our Windows tab. You'll scroll down and see the plugins menu and then select probe module. This will open up your probe module window. We want to go to settings and you want to make sure that the units that you're in match the units that your jog controller is in. So if this is in millimeters, you want it to be in millimeters. If this is in inches, you want it to be in inches. This right here will be the work coordinate that we'll be setting the zeros for. So if you want to select, you know, have different um, work coordinate setups for different parts, then you could. But I'm just going to leave that on G54 for now. This is your end mill diameter. You'll need to change this you know, whenever you change the size of bit um, that you're using. This is our, we have a slow measure rate and we have a fast measure rate. So the fast measure rate is going to be when it initially drops down, getting to touch the probe, and then it's going to retract a certain amount, which is what this is right here. And then it's going to use that slow feed rate to go down until it touches again, and then it'll set the zero, and then it'll move on to the next operation. So I've got this set at 25 inches a minute and 15. 
and then I have my re retract amount set to 0.1 inches. So with that set, now over here we have um, XYZ, XY, and Z are all separated. So this allows you to, in this instance, it will probe the Z and the XY all in one operation, or you can just probe the X and Y, or you can just probe the Z. So to set this up, we want to set our probe X and probe Y distance. This is going to be the distance that's going to travel when you jog over to the touch probe. It's going to travel this distance in X to drop down and then come back and touch the touch plate. And the same thing for the Y. It's going to go, it's going to go up and then move that distance over, drop down, and then touch the touch plate. This right here is our probe distance direction. This is for the Z. So what you want to set up your probing operation is you want to jog over to where your probe is at and you'll want to jog so that you are about 0.5 or less um, above the surface of your probe. I mean you could set this higher but the important thing is you want to be within the distance that you set here so that it knows that um, if it doesn't touch the probe after it's gone that set distance then it'll cause an error because it doesn't want to crash the machine. So whatever this is, then you want to jog within that distance to, before you start your probe operation. And then you want to set it as negative so that it knows it needs to go down. Your probe X and Y offset, when it, the first thing that it's going to do when you hit this button is it's going to jog down and it's going to touch the Z. So it's going to touch off the Z and set your zero. When it jogs over and touches the side of the probe, this offset is how far from that touch it's going to set the X and Y zero. So because of the way we have this probe set up, then we want it to be positive. So it knows that when it sets that, that when it touches that probe, then the actual zero point is 0 0.5 inches from that edge to our workpiece. Because for our, our probe in particular, that is 0 0.5 inches from the inside of that probe where it's touching the wood to the outside of the probe where the bit is touching. And you would need to set that up. You know, if you're using a different probe, they may have different sizes for that. And then this is our touch plate thickness. So again, it'll be the thickness of our probe touch plate, which for our probe um, here at Bob CNC is a quarter of an inch. And then it's the same setup for X, Y, and Z. It just allows you to just measure each one individually. So I've jogged over to my probe. I have it in a position so that if I go one inch, it'll go outside of it. And if it goes 1.5, it'll go outside of it. And I have it uh, less than 0 0.5 um, over the top of it. So I'm going to press play. It's going to touch the Z. It'll go out, touch the X and then we'll go over and touch the Y and then return to position and now it will have set all of these zeros based on how far it is away from um, the edges of your wood. Mm -hmm.